My husband and I are different ages, I'm 22, and he's 30. He wants to start a system where he gives me rewards when I do well and punishments when I don't. He thinks this will help me get my life together and become a better person. But I don't think this is a good idea for our relationship. I want to find a way to explain my concerns to him and suggest better ways to support me. Good morning. I want to clarify something. The title might sound like I'm being forced to do something, but that's not exactly true. My husband and I have an agreement called the two-month policy. If one of us suggests something that could be good for us, we have to try it for at least two months. For example, I suggested we start working out together and going for runs because I thought it would be great for our health and help us have more fun together. When I wanted to give up, this policy kept me going. It's helped us stick to things and see them through. So, my husband suggested this rewards and punishments idea. Recently, I started my first job after college, which was after our wedding and honeymoon. It's been a tough few months I've been exhausted, stressed, and feeling overwhelmed. I've struggled to balance my work and home life. That's when my husband suggested this system to help me get back on track. I've been making promises to myself to do certain things, like exercising, cleaning, or reading, but I haven't been following through. Or, I've been using up all my energy at work because I'm still learning to separate my work and personal life. As a result, I come home stressed and exhausted. And I haven't been able to focus on our relationship or be the supportive partner I want to be. My husband has noticed that I've been trying to improve but haven't been taking action. He thinks that having rewards and consequences will motivate me to follow through on my goals. He believes this system will really help me and he wants us to try it for the next two months. After that, I can decide if it's working for me or not. So my husband has set some specific goals and tasks for me to work on and he's created a system where I'll receive rewards if I complete them and punishments if I don't. I might be okay with the idea of rewards and punishments but the specific ones he suggested make me feel belittled and UN respected. The rewards he's offering are things like extra screen time, treats or favors in bed. And the punishments he wants to use are things like spanking, taking away my phone, making me stand in the corner or uncomfortable experiences in bed. I told him I'm uncomfortable with these because they make me feel like a child, not a grown adult. He responded that the system won't work unless the rewards are appealing and the punishments are unpleasant. We've been trying this system for a couple of weeks but I have to admit, I don't like it. I feel silly and embarrassed negotiating rewards and punishments. I'm also worried it's not healthy for our relationship because it makes me feel like we're not equals. Instead, it feels like he's trying to be a father figure, not my partner. This is especially hard for me because I already struggle with feeling like a confident, grown woman due to my body image issues. I'm self-conscious about my height and figure. Even though I've been technically doing better, this system isn't helping me feel more confident or mature. I tried to discuss my concerns with him and suggested stopping the system, but he reminded me of our two-month policy. He asked me to trust him and fully commit to the system for the entire two months before deciding whether it works or not. He pointed out that it's only been two weeks, so I should give it more time. He also shared an example of a time when he trusted me and did something he didn't want to do giving up red meat for two months. He said he didn't notice any health benefits, so he started eating it again in moderation. He's asking me to do the same try the system for two months, and then decide if it's working for me. I already feel like this system isn't working for me and I want to stop, but I'm considering pushing through for the next two months to be fair and honor our agreement. I want to find a way to explain my concerns to him and suggest alternative solutions that show I'm still committed to improving and willing to compromise. I need help figuring out how to approach this conversation and what alternatives to propose. Story two. My husband is 46 and I'm 47. He doesn't want me to join an orchestra because he thinks I'll be neglecting my duties and responsibilities at home. I've been a stay-at-home mom to our four kids since I lost my job during the COVID pandemic while I was on maternity leave. I chose to take a break from my career as a web development team leader to focus on the children and make our lives more manageable so we don't have to rush around after work. Taking care of the kids at home has been both incredibly fulfilling and exhausting. Often, the only thanks I get is for cooking dinner or doing laundry. Last year, I realized I needed something just for myself to maintain my mental well-being. That's when I started playing the cello. And it's been a great outlet for me. I've completely fallen in love with playing the cello. It's become a huge passion of mine. I even wake up in the morning excited to practice, but I always make sure to finish my household responsibilities first before I allow myself to play. I've connected with a local online group of cellists who have been incredibly encouraging and supportive. The group leader has invited me to join their orchestra several times. 
which would require a commitment of three to four hours every other Saturday morning. The orchestra is located about 33 kilometers from my home. When I told my husband about the orchestra's location, he was really surprised by how far away it is. So I tried searching for a different group that's closer to our home, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any other suitable options. This morning, I told my husband that I'm eager to join the orchestra. He became annoyed, citing the distance and the extra miles it would add to our car. I suggested organizing a carpool, but he became angry, saying he's disgusted that I'd make such a decision without considering him. He accused me of abandoning my responsibilities, just like he thinks I do when I practice cello daily. He also mentioned that it would conflict with the kids swimming and ski lessons, which I know I can work around. He asked how I could just drop everything for my own desires. Deep down, I know I don't neglect my responsibilities. I'm the one who always cooks, cleans, helps the kids with their homework, and takes care of them constantly. I'm also the one who organizes everything they need for their various activities like ski lessons, swimming, and kung fu. In the past, I even did the small tasks that were supposed to be his responsibility just because I got tired of waiting for him to do them. Despite all this, I never complained. Did I go about this the wrong way? My husband said he wishes I had asked for his opinion. Am I being selfish by wanting more time for myself? I already practice solo one to two hours almost every day. When I reflect on it, maybe I just need some space for my family to rediscover myself. But shouldn't I be able to find that sense of self when I returned to work. Update I told my husband I might not join the orchestra because of his reaction and now he's happy. But I'm feeling disappointed and let down. To sum it up, I've discovered a passion for playing the cello and want to join a wonderful group of cellists. But my husband thinks I'm neglecting my responsibilities as a mom and wife. Story three. Was I wrong to speak my mind to my girlfriend's family? I felt like they were getting too close, too fast, and I needed some space but now they're saying I was rude and disrespected them. Did I really overstep or were they just being too pushy? I'm happily married to a wonderful woman. One day, she asked if her family could drop by our apartment for a casual visit. It wasn't a big deal, just a few hours, no fancy meal or anything. I'd met them before and got along with them fine. The guests would be her mom, aunt, uncle, and cousin. I was okay with it, so we agreed to have them over. Everything started off fine when they arrived, but things took a turn when her uncle spotted a framed comic print on our living room shelf. He said it should be stored away, implying it was immature to display it. I politely told him it belonged to me and we liked it where it was. But then, he noticed our PS5 console and said it was childish to have gaming systems. He even made a snide comment about my comic collection, saying it was only suitable for kids. That's when I stood up for myself and told him, that if he had issues with my hobbies or how I decorate my own apartment, then he was welcome to leave. I wasn't going to sit there and be judged for enjoying things he didn't approve of, but he just kept saying that my hobbies were childish and that I should hide them away, implying that I should decorate my place in a more adult way. I simply repeated that if the sight of a comic book offended him that much, then he should feel free to leave. He accused me of being rude and demanded an apology, but I turned it around and pointed out that he was the one being rude thinking he had a say in how I decorate my own home and judging my hobbies. That's when he stormed out. Later, my wife suggested I apologize to him, but I refused because I didn't think I'd done anything wrong. Am I wrong for refusing to apologize to my wife's uncle? 